Learn from an attorney the main reason why bullies do what they do in today's school systems. And what, if anything, you can do to stop them. Kids, get your parents. They need to see this. Hi, I'm Stacy Storino, an attorney since 1998, certified life coach since 2015, and a leader in legal coaching that turns people into effective advocates for themselves and their loved ones when they're bullied, special needs, or both. Woman 101 stands for wisdom that turns victims into victors. Now, let's get to why bullies do what they do and how we can stop them. Stay tuned until the end of the video so that you can learn about a method to stop bullies after all else fails. Yep, there is a method. The 12 years we spend in grade school shapes us for the rest of our lives and lays the groundwork for many of the problems we have as adults like violence, racism, xenophobia, fear of strangers, and more. Bullying is, by academic definition, unwanted, intentional, aggressive behavior that involves a real or perceived power imbalance that is repeated over time. 28% of all students aged 12 to 18 are bullied at school during the school year. Plus, escalating violence is now occurring in our elementary schools. One study had researchers observing groups of kindergartners and first grade students where an incident of bullying on the playground was noted every three to six minutes. Children have committed suicide due to bullying as early as eight years old. This has got to stop. The Woman 101 YouTube channel is part of the effort to turn back the bullying tide. Now, bullies engage in their unwanted, intentional, aggressive behavior to create an imbalance of power between themselves and their victims. They generate, they create either a real or perceived imbalance of power where they extract social power amongst the school body. They extract significance and pleasure, mental, emotional, even sexual at the expense of their victims. It's not always the jocks or the popular kids who bully. You can get all kinds of bullies. Bullies can act alone or in cliques or even full-on gangs, but victims, they tend to be single or alone. The consensus amongst physicians and social scientists, educators and youth development organizations, civil rights advocates and law enforcement is that bullying is neither inevitable nor is it normal. Unfortunately, it's the victim who feels like they're abnormal when it's really the other way around. It's the bully who's abnormal, but other kids may feel too terrified to act, act against the bully. Gaining a support system that exists on the school campus can keep a bullied kid safer. And when all else fails, it's time to call in the cavalry, meaning having at least one adult who can serve as your advocate with the school system and, if need be, the police and the court system. You can't ignore bullying. It won't go away. Every study and survey shows that avoidance has no upside when it comes to bullying. And I've got a system called the Enemy Remedy that can help you or the ones who love you out big time. So make sure you check out the link down below in this video show notes for more details. Remember, Woman 101 stands for wisdom turning victims into victors. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video and share this with anyone you know who could use some support. <laughs> Woman 101, be wise with your heart.